I think it's safe to say that many of us have dreams of making something of ourselves, at least I do. Uh, but as to how many of us actually pursue that dream to its fruition is a different matter altogether. But for one man, his dream has been to make a plane, and this dream has been burnt in him since childhood. From the toy planes that he made during his childhood, Gabriel Nderitu has now constructed a drone-like object that he drove to Kieni in Tetu to test its efficacy. Nderitu, who did not pursue aeronautical engineering, did not let that end his dream of building a plane. And with a little polishing, he is optimistic that what he will eventually come up with will be a masterpiece. Here's Karen Derry with that story. Gabriel Nderito, aged 47, regards himself as a burden aeroplane maker. His dreams are valid, he says. If this drone-like object is anything to go by, then Nderito is seemingly on the right track. What started out as just a metal contraption is now a drone in the making. Even if I we do not succeed, somebody somewhere else in Kenya will probably complete this work and he will not start where I started. The power of the engine, an indicator of the milestones he has achieved since the journey began in his garage at Kahawa West area. It is a, a hobby and it was a long-term interest since childhood. He has come to test his machine in Kiawara in Kenya constituency, an area that offers large tracts of land ideal for his mission, that of testing the palatability of his creation. Villagers throng the object in awe, evening chores forgotten. The father of two did not pursue a degree in aeronautical engineering as he would have loved to. He, however, did not veer off too far as he has a Bachelor of Science in Physics degree. His darling with planes began when he was a small boy as he would make his own using anything he laid his hands on. Pieces of metal, plastic, sticks, you name it. Even if I we do not succeed, somebody somewhere else in Kenya will probably complete this work and he will not start where I started. It takes him roughly 15 minutes to assemble the remote-controlled drone. A friend of his has promised to donate an engine worth 600,000 shillings, a donation which he believes will kickstart him to making a real claim. He has named his creation Upendo, a 130-kilogram affair down from the 500-kilogram object it once was. For those who dismiss him as a joker, Derito has one thing to say to them. Watch this space, he says. And with the now famous quote that is attributed to the Oscars winner Lupita Nyong'o, dreams are valid, mine and yours. Carol Derry, KTN, Nyeri.